you know, um, sometimes in our interaction with society and, and our interaction with uh, family, we can um, become stressed, we can uh, experience aggression, we can experience incredible negativity, we can be caught up in conflict, resentment, uh, competitiveness, uh, control games, uh, attacks on our person. Uh, interaction can be difficult sometimes. We can withdraw. People can take our withdrawal very personally uh, when maybe we are only seeking to give ourselves an opportunity for for some kind of contentment and disconnection and, and uh, a uh, strategy for having an opportunity to, to build our own state of mind and not be exposed to that of others. And it may happen sometimes that it affects you and you open your eyes in the morning and you say, oh my God, there it is. You're lying there on your, your head on your pillow and you haven't even gotten up and realize that the anxiety is there, that the disillusionment is there, you feel disheartened, you feel your inner child is deeply hurt, that you don't have a place, that you have ambivalence about having a place, you have ambivalence about having enough love, all those things, you know. And um, no matter what words you use to explain it to yourself or no matter what your thoughts on that particular state may be, you can get up, you can walk away from it. You can realize that you are perfect, that you are part of an underlying essential perfection in being in all being, that perception of perfection can give you the strength to attribute that same perfection to all those around you, no matter what they may be, they may be manifesting, no matter where they may choose to be getting caught, no matter where you yourself may be choosing to feel stuck in a little hell. You can walk away from it. You can walk away from it in many ways. You can give yourself love. You can give yourself appreciation. You can make yourself a beautiful green smoothie full of nutrition. Quench your hunger. Uh, give your body what it needs to support uh, serenity, happiness, contentment. And you can rise to a perception of well-being as a choice in every moment. You know, I choose to be well. I choose to be happy. I choose to be like a clean page where I can write or manifest anything I want and it's up to me what I'm going to, to do with my day. It's up to me what I'm going to to be. So it's a, it's a question of being. You know. Where do you want to be? It's interconnected with what you eat, it's in interconnected with your thoughts, it's, it's interconnected with your choices, your, your will, and with your convictions as well. So, I kicked it right away in the ass. I just kicked it, you know, I said, no, I'll be fine, I'll be well, I'll be happy, no matter what. And I am happy. And all I have to do is be mindful that at any given moment, no matter what I encounter, 
I can do it. I can kick it in the butt. And I can be one. That's uh, summary report number three.